We start tonight, though, with the latest on the Ukraine crisis as Russia invades and talks between the two countries stall. And we are seeing new action tonight against Russia for its military invasion, and it's coming from state and local leaders in North Carolina. We're going to get to those details in just a moment, but first, let's catch up to speed with what's transpired today. Ukrainian officials making little headway, pushing for a ceasefire in talks with a Russian delegation. Tough sanctions from the U.S. on Russia's central bank have sent the Russian economy reeling, its currency collapsing. Germany has joined other Western nations in sending weapons to help Ukraine. And as Moscow is increasingly cut off from the rest of the world, concerns are growing over how President Vladimir Putin will react. Putin has already put his country's nuclear deterrent forces on high alert. Reaction and action meantime back here at home. North and South Carolina governor's mansions lit up in blue and yellow to symbolize support for the country. But there's more to it. WCNC Charlotte's Brianna Harper shares the sanctions and the messages of support coming from state and local leaders tonight. The next time you visit an ABC store like this here in North Carolina, you can expect some changes on the shelves. And according to Governor Roy Cooper, that change is a sign of support. These three Russian liquors now being swiped off the shelves and no longer sold at ABC stores across North Carolina. It's all part of an executive order by Governor Roy Cooper that Ukrainian supporters like this are getting behind. That's a very good sign. Yeah. And not only for me personally, but I think it's a very good sign for the world in general. Governor Cooper says this step is a start to hit Russia financially and eventually create an even bigger economic impact. I check every product, every item, and I don't want to support with my money this army that can kill my, my people, my relatives, my friends. But even bigger than the money is the loyalty shown to the nearly 100,000 Ukrainian nationals who call Charlotte home, according to the latest census. I think this step, while I acknowledge is small and, and for the most part symbolic, but symbolism matters. And it matters for the people of North Carolina to show which side we're on. That side is humanity and peace, says North Carolina State Senator Michael Garrett. But stopping Russian alcohol sales is just the start. The city of Charlotte now reconsidering its decades-long ties to its Russia's sister city, too. According to our staff, we have not had any interaction with them since the summer of 2015. And today, we will begin the process to sever that relationship. The city plans to vote at its next business meeting to officially sever ties with its Russian sister city. No word yet on when the executive order may end. Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte.